So this is to going to be our setup. Just a Bluetooth keyboard, the headset, hand tracking, no controllers. That's all you need to start developing with Godot on the Quest itself. We already installed it. It's a pretty quick install, only 158 megabytes. So let's open it. Uh, I also activated the mouse, which works surprisingly well. So it's even even more fun than using the hand tracking. No project yet, so let's start a simple project. We're going to speed run something that shows in VR without, well, as quickly as possible. Um, I haven't done a lot of XR development on Godot in a long time, so this is new for me as well. So let's create a project. We're going to use the mobile renderer and let's call it first VR. You'll be presented with a scene editor pretty similar to what you're used to in Unity. So just an empty scene. We're going to do a 3D scene. What we need is an origin, simply the same as in Unity. Don't care about that. And we need a camera. For the camera, we have a regular camera or an XR camera. Let's do the regular camera first to show what it's going to do. Let's keep that here. Then we just add a simple mesh, a cube. We're going to do the same as Scarred Ghost did with a Unity cube, but now in Godot. Let's create the mesh instance and make it box mesh. We don't care about the material, we just move it in front of us so we can see it. If we're gonna go play now, it will complain that it's not saved, so we have to save it and set it as the main scene. So you can already see the cube, uh, not, not very exciting, but that's a regular 3D scene. Let's make it a bit more interesting. Uh, I think we can even move that. Yes, it does work. So we can change the cube and rotate it. There's no light, so it's a pretty boring scene. So let's see what happens if we add a light while it's running. Come on. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, there's a bit of a bug while it's running. Let's use an Omni light and yeah, you can already see that. So let's put it in a spot that makes a bit more sense so we can actually see different the sides are differently illuminated. That's fine. Okay, let's close that for now. Overall, it doesn't take a lot of resources. I mean, you see my battery is also, the battery has been disliked the whole day, so it doesn't take a lot of there. Oh, we did put the Omnilight in the wrong position, so let's put it under the root node. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's just the regular 3D scene, so you can do like a, a standard 3D game, but we actually want to have a, a something that, that moves with our head in VR. So let's remove that camera. And let's add a camera that is specific to VR, which is the XR camera. I don't need to change any settings at the moment. We don't care about all of that. One thing, if we try to run that now, it will complain. Ah, it will not do anything. Yeah, exactly. So. There is no, the project is not yet set up correctly for, for VR. So we have to go 
to project settings and to the renderer OpenXR. So we want to activate OpenXR. And we also need in the shaders. Okay, I don't know what it's actually that that means uh it, it the shader is working for multi-view. Um not sure why it doesn't say that here, but we have to save and restart. Okay. So now if we run it, it will probably still not it will not do anything. I mean it will probably show the VR scene, but it, uh, the VR mode, but not the VR scene. So let's run it. So we can see it's now it, it moved into the XR mode, but it doesn't show anything. And now comes the nice debugging in play. So if we open up the editor, which is running in the background, we can see it says uh, the viewport is not marked with use XR. So the nice thing is like we have the 3DC running in, the, in our background and we are able to work in the editor on the device. Uh, yeah, again, we have to fix something here. I already know what, but I'm going to copy that from the web. So we are going to look for good old XR use XR which will give us the tutorial, setting up XR docs. We ignore everything there. And what we need is this script uh, attached in the scene, which basically just initializes the, the viewport correctly. And the fun thing is like we copy this here. Okay, I want this over here, go away. Okay, let's do it like this. So we just, attach a script to our origin and we paste in that stuff we just copied and just we're not extending not 3d now but we're extending the origin and save it in theory that should be all that's needed let's get that over here so that i have more space here now if you run it i hope we will see the cube in front of us yeah there, i mean it's not in front of us for whatever reason but it's over there which is pretty nice now let's try to move it in the editor and see if it will move in the scene so take the cube Okay. Oh, I moved the light. That's okay. That's not actually what I moved, but it did actually do it in real time. So now let's move the cube. Okay, so it's it's not moving while I'm dragging it. It's only updating the result, but I think that's that's good enough. So let's make this whole scene a bit more interesting. Okay, apparently files are stored in a, an accessible location, so you just need an file manager no don't. Uh, you just need a file manager so you can directly put it into the documents so all projects are under your documents folder so if you put something in there it will be available in the game I already installed it here. So now we are going to make a more interesting environment than just the plain sky. So we have sky. And the sky is going to be A panorama sky material and the panorama is an image texture. 
let's just try to drag and drop that here. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, it kind of did work. So let's see if I rotate that. Looks pretty okay-ish. And now let's do a tech. You can see it's there, it's just the mapping's wrong. So let's just run that and maybe since put it somewhere over here. Let's see. And it works. So we have our environment and our let's call it Unity Cube in Godot. This environment is generated with our own environment generator, by the way. And nice multitasking. So let's move that again. Updates automatically. closer and I still don't know why the mapping is wrong although again making this too it's kind of working let's offset that by yeah it's almost Yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it's okay. We don't have hands or controllers yet, we would have to add them as well. Uh, for that you just add... For controllers you have, similar to the XR camera rig, you have the controller nodes, but I'm using hand tracking, so that won't work. The next step you probably want to do is go to the asset library and check out the Godot XR um, no, the Godot XR tools that's basically your XR interaction toolkit in Godot it gives you all those neat little things that make your life easier and that's it. That's how you get Kudu running on your quest. <laughs>